For many years, the field of psychology has been trying to understand all those personality traits that make you a unique and special little snowflake. Hi guys, I'm Lacey Green and this is DNews. It's called Personality Psychology and it's a booming field of research you're bound to hear about in any human psych class. One of the most well-researched and respected personality models in the field is Costin McRae's Big Five. This model evaluates how strong a person is on five different axes. Let's take a look-see at those traits. Trait number one is openness to experience. This trait describes how open or closed your thinking is. Highly open people are intellectually curious, they love art and science. Open people appreciate Emotion, unusual ideas, imagination, adventure, and of course, having new experiences. People with low scores tend to have more traditional interests. They prefer familiarity over doing something new and they don't really like change. Trait number two is conscientiousness. Highly conscientious people are basically those annoying overachievers who are always on top of it. They're disciplined, responsible, and good at planning ahead. A high score on conscientiousness suggests a strong ability to regulate and control your behavior. Low scores tend to be more impulsive and unorganized, you know hot mess status. Trait number three is extroversion. People tend to think of extroversion and introversion as how outgoing you are, but it's actually about how you get your energy. High scores, the extroverts feel recharged and energized by going out and being around people. They like parties and chit chatting. Low scores or introverts feel rejuvenated and energized by spending time alone. They tend to be quieter, lower key, and more deliberate. They go to a party and they have to recover the next day. This is sometimes confused with shyness, but shyness is about comfort socializing. Introversion and extroversion are about the amount of socializing you need to do your best and to feel your best. Trait number four is agreeableness. Highly agreeable people are considerate, friendly, and helpful. They just wish we could all get along, guys. They make sacrifices for others and they assume others are good people. Low scores or highly disagreeable people are suspicious, distant, and uncooperative. They place self-interest above getting along. They don't care as much about other people's well-being, and they're less likely to help you out. Basically, they're assholes. I'm just kidding, but really. And last but not least, trait number five is neuroticism. This trait measures emotional stability. Highly neurotic people are more prone to negative emotions like anxiety, anger, depression. They're easily stressed out, they're reactive, and they're more likely to be frustrated in day-to-day -day life. Low scores are more calm and collected. They don't really sweat the small stuff. They're emotionally stable and balanced. Now for a long time, it was thought that these five traits held true across regions and cultures. We've witnessed them in action across across the world, but recently, researchers found an isolated Bolivian farming community where for the first time, it doesn't seem to apply. For this community, there are only two major traits, socially beneficial behavior and industriousness. This makes an interesting suggestion about personality. If there are less developed areas where personality trends are different, society may play a stronger role in encouraging or discouraging the expression of personality traits than we once thought. Food for your brain. So guys, I'm gonna put a link in the description to take the Big Five personality test if you're interested. And here's a question for you to chew on. What traits do you think are going to be especially common amongst those of you in the D News audience? Share your thoughts down below and hit subscribe so you can get some more D News updates.